I'll yeah. do this. There we go. All right. All right. You start, and then I'll just kind of we are live. <laughs> oh, another crazy day. Uh, okay. I think I'm live. Are we live? <laughs> okay. 302. Hello out there in the world. Hey, Glenn. Hey, James. How are you? <laughs> I have Jim Martin here with me today. You remember Jim and, and James, how you doing? How's the uh, Air Force? Hey, Randy, you are live. Yes, I am. <laughs> we couldn't get the laptop to come on. It was crazy. Uh, and everybody, so this is like the third laptop in three and a half weeks. <laughs> and Jim shows up and we turn it on about 20 minutes ago and it wouldn't come on. <laughs> Oh, you're doing great. Oh, yes, you remember Jim. Yes, we worked on some shows together, Wheaton Drama. And uh, uh, w wait a minute, who's this? Uh, who is? Oh, well, hi. 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 What, what are you doing here? I, I was looking for snacks. Ah, I see. Well, yeah. I don't have any. What? The dog came in looking for snacks, too, and, and I ate them earlier. No. Yes. But I'm peckish. You're, what? That's another word for hungry. Yeah, uh, I should start using that word. You, you don't. Yeah, you, I need you to get you don't have any crackers. Uh, not here. No, uh, not not in this room. How about something sweet? Uh, I have M and M's, but uh, they're in the other room too. Oh, uh, I can't go get them right now. We're on uh, the air. You know you're on TV. Oh, TV. Hello. You're on, you're, on, you're on the air on Facebook. Oh, okay. Yes. This is weird. Yes, it certainly is, and I'm. Uh, Yes, nice. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> okay, we're off to a great start here. Not, oh. even, not even a dilly bar? <laughs> All right. Okay, anyway, here I am with my friend R.J. Obrin. Yes, and here we are with Jim Martin, who's not even in the picture because... Where'd he go? I think you should. You know, he had a complex. Of... When it didn't start, he, he went running out of the room crying. I think that was a conflict. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> So you're stuck you're, with me. Yes. I am I am Emmett. Uh, Ooh, I'm big. Ah. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. Well, yeah. I'll tell you what, why don't why don't we get Jim to come in so people can actually meet him? Oh. You mean you're tired of me already? No, no, no. I like the uh, I like the nose. Oh thank you. Yeah, and the yours eyes. is not bad either. Uh, thank <laughs> you. It's, it's okay, not, I'm, it's not I'm, yellow. I'm, <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go now. Okay. Well, it's been swell. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Possibly. All right. Possibly. Okay. Possibly. <laughs> I add syllables whenever possible. I'm All having right, so right. much fun. Gotta go. All right. Here, come help do a set. Um, <laughs> <laughs> everybody. Now we're gonna we're gonna. <laughs> he's ah. dying. Jim Martin is. We're, he's losing it. Uh, now I'm here. Now, okay. And, and there's Jim. Hello. And uh, he really is the uh, creator of Happy Meals uh, toys for McDonald's. Right? One, one of many. Yes. One of, one of many toys? Or no, one, one of many, of many people. There's a, it takes a, a village, as, as it were. A village? Well, um, a team. Just to do one toy? Many, yes, actually. Because you're not just working on one toy at a time. you got to work on a Two. grouping. Oh, I see. Yes. So, like it's themed. There's a whole bunch. Well, if, whenever if, you go to McDonald's, and yeah. uh, if you look at the uh, the toy displayer, yeah. you're going to notice that there's many a lot of toys in there. So, like, say, if it's Hello Kitty, you're going to see not just one toy, but maybe eight. Or oh. if it's Hot Wheels, you know, you're going to see about, you know, six to eight cars. So, oh, we, we develop an entire line uh, for each promotion. Wow. Hey, everybody, feel free to ask questions uh, about uh, here, uh, hi, hi, Rick. Uh, Rick Forbes is there, and Jonathan, and Jeanette, and Marina, and oh, oh hi, Don. Yeah, hi, Gary. Uh, pleasant surprise. Yeah, I was surprised too. I didn't even know. Uh, Glenn got your wisdom teeth pulled yesterday <laughs> on quarters right now. I am so sorry. Well, you know, you're in the Air Force; they pull your wisdom teeth. You know, they've been pulled. I had mine out in the Navy. Yikes! <laughs> My <laughs> so, condolences. <laughs> Here you are, Jim. Oh, it's a speedy better. recovery. So, uh, I'm just happy that uh, this is actually working. Yes, and I'm here. 
Yes, because it was a little scary there for five minutes ago, that's for sure. If you've just joined us, uh, I'm R.J. Ogren, a former Disney artist, and I do Disney paintings. Uh, Suzanne and I uh, have uh, books about Disney out. Alex, hey, hi, Alex, how are you from? And from the U.K. Hey, Alex is here from the Ooh. U.K. Of, that's neat. Our other favorite place. And I'm Jim Martin. I'm, I'm I currently designing Happy Meal toys for yes. McDonald's. Yes. And happily so in here. the present time. And and actually, we've worked on uh, sets together. Yep. For the theater, and we've been on stage together, um, briefly. Yep. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's safe to say that whenever we do get a chance to collaborate, whether it's on stage or behind the scenes, we, we do have a good time. Yes. Yep. Yes. I I uh, I know we did uh, spam a lot. Now you were in spam a lot. I wanted to be in Spam a lot, but uh, I had had my accident with my concussion and stuff. But I did the set, and then you yes. helped paint the set, which yeah. came out fantastic. Yeah. Well, we had a lot of help, but uh, that was one of those very special sets where uh, RJ had come up with a wonderful design. And uh, the, there was an awful lot of love just involved with the show in general. And so we had so many people helping out. Uh, it was uh, pretty unprecedented. Because a lot of times when you're trying to get people to help with building and, and painting sets, you get a very small crew. And this one, uh, there was a surplus of people. Yes. There, oh, we had a... Oh, you look wonderful. Don't I, you? I know. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, is my good, this is my good set. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's this? Chopped liver? What? James, Spam all was easily the coolest there. set to build. It was fun to build, James. Yeah. James was, uh, uh, before you went in the Air Force, you helped us uh, build the set. And that was great. Mm -hmm. And um, because I couldn't audition or be in the show, because um, they were afraid I'd fall over on stage. <laughs> there were many platforms. The closing night, I was up in the tower. Yes, you were. <laughs> uh, during, the, during the final uh, uh, number, I always look on the bright side, and I had on a French helmet. And yeah, the other fact, pictures up picture there, up there, yeah. There, yeah. <laughs> so. No cast turned around and looked at, up. <laughs> there he's, you were just so, you were in your glory. I know. Yeah. I had to do it. <laughs> They never know what to expect of me. Nope. Um, Alex, your best Monty Python movie of yours is Life of Brian. Uh, I love Life of Brian, but I'd have to say that uh, uh, the uh, Holy Grail, Monty Python, the Holy Grail is my favorite. Yeah. So. They were all good, but that one's my favorite, too. So I see more of you coming in. Uh, oh, Melissa, Southern Indiana. Hi. <laughs> Um, and uh, Tim, and of course Jeff. Hi, Jeff Lapsker. I did a painting for him and his family. Oh, nice! And uh, so nice to see everybody. And uh, if you just joined us, uh, if you're new to to my uh, usually Friday shows, uh, we're doing this today because I have a conflict tomorrow. And uh, anyway, uh, we had trouble getting the laptop. <laughs> this is the third laptop in just three and a half weeks, uh, and. Uh, it's been working great. And then I went to turn it on about 25 minutes ago and it wouldn't start up. <laughs> so <laughs> I was beginning to think that it was me. So the next time we were going to try this, I would just phone it in. But uh, it's probably that crazy Emmett, thing, yeah. thing that was Emmett that was yeah. just on. If you missed Emmett, he'll be coming back. Um, uh, yeah, Jim, meaning of life was hilarious. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, anyway, um, but. Um, I'm not painting today. Um, I probably would be too frazzled to paint. Uh, I just finished a stretch room painting and it went to Texas uh, this morning in a truck. It didn't just go to Texas. And um, so I'm, you know, I'm actually the next painting I'm working on has got 16 different characters in it. Um, and uh, Ed and Jarka, if you're out there, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, he's going to be very excited. Yeah. <laughs> So, anyway, um, and of course, like I said, if you've just joined us, uh, Jim here is an artist, creator. He creates puppets. He's created some stuff for some of the stage plays. Uh, what was one you did recently where you created some puppets? Um, let's see. Uh, well, actually, there were two. Uh, about I think it will be two years this fall. Uh, Wheaton Drama had done a production of Shrek the Musical. And uh, I was really jazzed about the idea of creating a dragon for that because uh, there's a big dragon scene in the musical number, and we had a lot of fun uh, building that. Uh, but then there was uh, uh, 
just the the walking song and so uh we designed designed a whole bunch of puppets just for that so it came uh, i actually brought some today so there was like a sun and a moon and the puss in boots was in there the dish and the spoon uh, a bird i mean all sorts of different things and what was really fun about that process was that none of the puppets were like all the same so some were rod puppets some were hand puppets uh some were on huge poles with triggers. I mean, it, it was wow. a, and I really didn't know really how mean? to make puppets. I just, I, I love puppetry. I love the Muppets. I love uh, all the different types of artists. And in fact, Facebook's been a wonderful place to actually reach out and uh, kind of befriend all sorts of uh, puppeteers all across the land. Uh, and so that's been fun. That's cool. And uh, so you get to see what other people are doing. And it inspires me to, do, to try different things. Yeah. And so I just, you know, it was a lot of work being in the show and then, uh, and then building all these puppets. But I just, it was just like a, a potpourri of creativity. Yeah. And I couldn't help myself. I uh, have created a few puppets over the years, uh, usually for a family member. But I've also created uh, uh, character, costume, mm -hmm. character things. Uh, I did the mascot second generation for University of Miami, my alma mater. Um, I did a, a koala bear from an Australian company for the 1980 World's Fair mm -hmm. in Knoxville. That was a lot of fun. And um, so, yeah, it's it's a puppetry in a way, except the person, of course, is inside. Oh, yeah. Uh, creating the moves and everything. I want to go back now. Again, uh, Jim is one of the designers for uh, uh, McDonald's Happy Meals. He yeah. designs toys, which is really cool. I think you brought some, right? Oh yeah, I've brought a whole okay. Bunch. Let, let's see some of those. All right, I'm, well, gonna, I'm gonna move this in a little bit. Okay, well, there. let's see. If now we're closer. If we move this back, move this back just a little bit, and can we tilt this? And we can down. tilt this. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, All right, we'll see can, how this I goes. Can, are we having fun yet? All right. All right. So I don't know how. Oh, there we how go. far down do we have to go here? All right. Well, they or how about see. this? How about if I just hold them out? Oh, there's a good. Oh, look, we're back in the picture. Yes, it's not a puppet, but. Um, I've been uh, designing Happy Meal toys uh, with two different companies for the past uh, 21 years. Um, I kind of just uh, fell into that. I had a cartooning background, and the job that I had prior to starting this was uh, holiday giftware. And so it was like product-based, and then by com like that. Uh, accompanying that with uh, my love <laughs> of cartooning, it was, a, it was a natural fit. And I've been a truly, in, it's been a blessing to have this job for all these years. So um, here is a toy that you won't find in the States, but this was done about 10 years ago. But uh, whenever we design uh, toys, we have to keep in mind uh, the zone that we're designing them for. So this guy here, this is Grimace, who you don't see too much on the actual uh, on, on commercials or anything anymore. But they had McDonald Land, and uh, they had Ronald McDonald and Grimace, and they had Birdie, the, the early bird, so she could you know, sell their breakfast sandwiches and stuff. And of course, Hamburglar. And so for uh, Latin America, we had designed a grouping of four uh, bobbles, bobbleheads. So actually this is a bobble body. So when you tap it, there's a spring inside and it hops. But if you notice, this is like a really huge toy. This is probably a good seven inches tall. Whereas happy, other Happy Meals might be, oh, maybe three inches. And the thing is with Latin America, they really liked, they don't go to McDonald's that often, maybe once a month. And if they do, it's like, going to a really nice restaurant. So it's a special event for them. So when they go, they want to have for their customers uh, a really, like almost like a you're getting your toy at Target. So, <laughs> wow. so it may not have like a, a very elaborate function on it, like some of the things we do in the style, you know, like, like lights and sound and all that. But a simple function, but a good size uh, is a successful toy in, in the uh, in Latin America. I'll be darned. Well, here's, here's a... a Alex uh, in the UK. Sometimes I have a sneaky Happy Meal to get the toy. <laughs> Last week was Mario in the UK. Ah, so. we're actually starting that uh, this next week. Yeah, we're, we had Incredibles too, and okay. I'm going to be doing Mario. That. So. And, and uh, uh, Jimmy, I see you say you miss the old Ronald McDonald characters. So, uh, yeah, I, when I first started this, we did a, a lot of Ronald McDonald, and over the years, uh, I think also with the um, and I want to point out that Ronald is not a clown. He is the chairman of happiness. At least that's what they say at McDonald's. You'll learn something. 
every yes. day. Um, and uh, I think with the uh, negativity towards clowns lately, they've kind of disappeared. So they start making them kill yeah. people. That's kind of weird. Yeah. So <laughs> Ronald would never do that. He's you know always there to. God, so I hope not. This is a this is a, a character. <laughs> It's kind of interesting to look and <laughs> try to hold it up. I know you want to move the wrong yeah. way. So uh, uh, this is a, a green pig from uh, the uh, Angry Birds movie from last, uh, the very first one. And it's a simple, as you can see. Other ah! <laughs> I do okay. that all the time. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Up is still up. That's good. But there's a button <laughs> in the back. <laughs> you know, and then when you press it, you get a nice lariat. Uh, functionality to that so uh, i designed this one for hours and just it would in there. yes you know <laughs> by rj's book, oh, by yeah. RJ's book. <laughs> right. i knew we'd get a plug in there somewhere for our disney books so then we have things wear, like uh, my disney <laughs> my Mickey shirt thing. so uh this is cyborg from uh teen titans go and uh, he has a uh, he's packing a bunch of meatballs so when you press it don't break he the shoot, computer. He <laughs> <laughs> it's a working gun. Work. <laughs> so, and here's a little uh, known fact. Uh, originally, when we pitched the toy, we wanted to shoot one really large meatball. But we have to also consider when we're making these toys, not only do we want to make them fun, they also have to be very safe. And uh, we do uh, consider... Is this, is this fun? Okay, it's yeah. hard plastic. It's hard plastic. So it doesn't uh, shoot very so, far. Does it, uh, this, it doesn't shoot very far because you don't want it to hurt somebody's eye. But also, uh, we didn't want to have a very large spher spherical shape. Let's put it so, out there. Yeah. So uh, if for some reason, and, and I would not advise this in case, like a child decided they wanted to put it in their mouth, if it was a larger shape, it could uh, kind of get, get stuck. stuck in the airway and there'd be no air, air to go by. But with this shape, it's irregular. And if for some reason they decided to to try it and, and eat it, even if it got stuck, there'd still be areas where air could still pass Get through. Pass through because of the way it's yeah. shaped. So we have, to, we have to consider that kind of stuff. Because as, as fun as we are uh, about designing the toys, and sometimes we have to lose the fun in order to get the function in there. Like we we come up with ideas and the safety will say, nah, you can't do that. And yeah. we're like, you're killing me, Smalls. Um, we we would not want a fatality or anybody getting no. hurt. So I mean, bottom line is cool. fun toys, but no fatalities. Are so there any that you solely designed, or is it always uh, a group, or one yeah, you well, have more input on? Okay. Um, Grimace, I solely designed. The uh, uh, the, the ones actually I brought that. today are, are ones that you yeah. did. Yeah, cool. Here's one of my absolute, a whole bunch of them. Over here's here. one of my absolute favorites. Uh, this is from Shrek 3, and this is, uh, I believe this is where they uh, introduced the babies. So in this, we had uh, three babies that were uh, part of the program, and so uh, you press a button and they talk. Do they? No, it don't. It's because this is an old toy, and the battery is worn on the my, my laptop. Yeah, but one of the things that I'm most proud of on this <laughs> is um, sometimes, uh, we can get something in there that's kind of personal. So I'm going to hold him up close. Let's see. Oh, first I have to hold it up. Now, as you notice, this little guy's got his finger in his belly button. Now, that did not happen in the movie, but it did happen in real life. My oldest son, Cliff, when he was uh, one and a half, two years old, the center of his universe was his navel. He couldn't wear overalls because he had to always get to his belly button. He just it just comforted him. That's it. And so Holy I was I able to get that little detail in this particular toy. Now there was a, another boy baby and a girl baby, and they did cute things too. But this guy uh, and he's winking impishly. Uh, I was just really really pleased because and I didn't tell anybody because I'm like you tell somebody they're not gonna let you do it. But uh, but it but everybody really liked it because that's something a little child would do. Yeah, so. that's neat. I've got a couple of questions here. As oh, uh, from, okay, from Alex uh, in the UK, has right. there been any toys that couldn't be made for McDonald's? Um, yes. Um, uh, it, it not whole groups of toys, but there were certain toys we just couldn't do. Killer clowns is one. Uh, <laughs> 
The the Walking Dead <laughs> oh, anniversary edition oh, could could not be come done. On. No. Okay. Um actually um <laughs> I can talk about these because this was years ago, but uh uh, was it two summers ago we did the Peanuts movie uh, Happy Meal and I, I was in charge of that one and I should state that not only do I design the toys but I have to manage the program so I take them from start to finish um, and so I'm the one that has to decide how tall they're going to be how many paint decorations are going to go on there hmm. wow. and, and so on and, and of course that goes with the team of product developers and things like that but we were trying to get in this mix a pig pen toy now, Pigpen oh. uh, from Peanuts uh, yeah. is a classic character. Everybody loves him. He doesn't do much, but it always has to involve dirt. Yeah. And he always has this cloud of dirt and dust around him. So we had a pullback toy where when you pull back the toy, he would zoom forward, stay in place, but the cloud of dust would spin around him. And it was an adorable little toy. But we had trouble with trying to get his hair right because his hair is like this. It just straggly yes. and, and all that. Yeah. And so we're like, okay, how do we depict that? It would be too expensive to have like little threads or strings sticking out of it, and it probably would not be safe. You certainly couldn't have like pieces of plastic that would stick out. So we kind of had to have them kind of molded to the sides of his head. It was still kind of messy, but it it wasn't uh, it wasn't accepted by the Peanuts group because it just it was off model. Like it did yeah. it just didn't look like him. Yeah. So there's a toy that we couldn't do. Then there's also one where um, we were going to do a WrestleMania Happy Meal. And uh, they developed these toys, and there was like a corner of a ring, and then you had a lot of the the, uh, the wrestlers in there. And everybody looks at all of this stuff. And then when we have the first round models, uh, somebody's like, oh, why are these men only wearing trunks? <laughs> They're like basically almost naked. And everyone's like, Ooh. it's like, you saw the drawings and you saw the reference. And uh, we had the option of you know, possibly putting tank tops on them or T-shirts. Yeah. But everyone was like, I think we should just pass on this. And so they, they passed on it. So that was a, a case where wow. we developed the toys and uh, they just felt it was wiser to. Uh, yeah, I think that's that. a good idea. Yeah. Well, here's a, a question from uh, uh, Jimmy. Uh, did you have anything to do with the old McDonald's kitchen toy sets? I think that was actually before my time. Uh, I had okay. started in 1996, and that was during the time where uh, Babe had just come out. Oh, right. So yeah. uh, fortunately, when you work, uh, uh, and, I, and I should say uh, McDonald's is our client. Uh, I work for an agency that is uh, that we service McDonald's. Okay. So, um, and... Uh, usually would get one set of the uh, the toys that were coming out in the restaurants at that time and the first uh, grouping of toys I got was babe uh, but uh, oh, but I didn't okay. work on the kitchen stuff no oh, okay and Andrea has uh, she says have you ever done a set of the Disney cartoon characters like Mickey Minnie Donald Goofy and oh yeah yeah um, oh yeah well we did, well, they, did uh, they did a yeah. hundred years of Disney and that was uh, right before I went from one agency to another one, and uh, it was a, an amazing program where we had taken the history. It was like, well, it, uh, it was Walt's birthday, so if he was 100 years old. So the idea is that you get a very simple figure, a PVC figure that was stuck on a gold base, had a sticker that had the name of the character and also the date to which that character was, was launched. And so we... Uh, were able to depict as many characters as possible. Uh, the criteria was that they had to be, in some way, shape, or form, appear in the parks. So oh, okay. we did about five or six different Mickeys. So you had Steamboat Willie, you had Mickey in his traditional Disney those. World outfit, yeah. uh, him as the brave little tailor, um, and and so on and so forth. And then of course you had, you know, your 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 Fab Five. Right. You know, we had Minnie Mouse and Daisy Duck. You had we had one figure that had Huey, Dewey, and Louie all together. But then you, you go off into the movies. So you have like all the Seven Dwarfs, uh, Genie, Aladdin, uh, Pixar characters. So you have Buzz and Woody and so all that. So you had Susie in there. So yeah, <laughs> she was she was what in the was she was the sleepy. sleepy. Yeah, yeah. She, she was the walk around character at Disney World. She was sleepy. If you look at the back, you can see the shirt tail. It says Susie. Susie, yeah. of course. Yeah. Yes. 
<laughs> and he, so you, have so, you got any uh, other unique ones there? Oh, they're all unique. Yeah. Oh, gosh, there's some. Really well, um, here's a case where uh, uh, a line of toys, and we we had worked on this. Um, so uh, a couple of years ago, we did a um, DreamWorks property called Home, and that was with this alien named O. Ooh, there he is. There you go. And um, he, uh, one of the, the the things with this toy, <laughs> his, his arms float. That's that's funny. So, well, actually, if if I pull him back, he will spin around. Oh, but we okay. we don't have the best uh, area to, to show this. But what was cool about this character? Here's my head. No, okay. <laughs> it's not flat. That's, that's right. not no. Uh, um, <laughs> but uh, the key thing with O was that his emotions were very transparent. So he, his normal color was is this lavender color, if you can tell. And whenever there would be some other emotions, he would change color. So if he was scared, he'd turn yellow. And in this toy, whoop, he'd go, ah, ah. So his little ear things would go up and down, and he'd just freak out, and you, you press his little swirl button. Uh, if, he, <laughs> uh, if he was to get nervous or panic, he'd turn green. And then there's a button on the back. And his head would go, ah, ah. And he's going that way because the uh, Captain Smack, who is the head of the, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the king of these aliens, yeah, was very domineering. He was voiced by uh, uh, Steve Martin. Oh, Sarah. So. Sarah Jane, I have an orange one of that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. What is yeah. the most collect collectible one? Uh, the most collectible ones are uh, still the Teeny Beanie Babies and also the Madame Alexander Wizard of Oz. And oh, we did that twice. Okay. Wow. So uh, if you ever look on eBay for those, you'll find that if you can get a complete set, that's rare and also very kind of on the expensive side because wow. uh, the, the quality of those particular toys were really okay. up there. Alex had a great suggestion, by the way. He said we could do uh, adult Happy Meals and then you could do Killer Clowns. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll leave you to, to pitch right. that to McDonald's. So. <laughs> Here we have uh, Angry O, and if he was on a table, he'd be shaking all about. You can hear the the vibration there. <laughs> so. All right. Again, if you've just joined us, I'm with Jim Martin. Uh, I'm R.J. Ogren, the uh, artist uh, and former Disney artist. And Jim uh, still, and for years, has uh, been involved in designing these toys for Happy Meals for McDonald's. And we're just loving the fact that you're here with us today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, we had a great visit near the beginning there with Emmett. I mean, it was, yeah. So, all right. And then, uh, let's see, one more of this. Yeah. Okay. I want Emmett to come back. Okay. He will. He will. Oh, okay. All right. Now, I to kind him. of show that, uh, and he's up there. Okay. Hopefully, with this lighting, we can see. All right. Is he in the shot? Okay. Yeah. Man, this is tough. Is this real bright on your screens? Let me let me uh, take okay. some light down here. So, because this one will actually change multiple colors, so you can go from red to yellow to green and all that, and that's just to kind of show. Uh, that helps. Maybe if I block it a little myself. Okay, raise it up. This is the this is challenging. Okay, oh, there we go. You can see it. Yeah. Okay. The color. Up, up. Oh. Up. Over. Over, like there he is. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. All righty. So. I like that. Oh, one last one. Let <laughs> me <laughs> <laughs> change our lighting a little bit in here. See how I can see. There's a cat. Better. Okay. So. Anyway, that was a, about a, a, an eight toy program, but. We designed more toys for that because we had uh, done this globally. So some zones had, like in the U.S. had six toys, and then uh, Europe probably had about eight, and then there were other zones that actually showed ten. So we didn't just design six toys. We had to do about 14, and then they decided which ones that they were going to actually use. Oh, and the okay. orange one you're talking about, they, we actually had one that kind of walked upside down on his head, another one where he... Uh, they had this bonking stick, and you press the button, and it goes boom, 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 just like the captain would in, in the movie. You'd have to see That's the movie. nice. So. Well, Jimmy said, uh, we used to have a whole garbage bag full of Beanie Babies, and my mom gave them all the way to Goodwill. Turns out the one Beanie Baby was a rainbow, shiny one valued at 
a thousand dollars. Wow. My mother, when I went into service, uh, I had a huge collection of uh, comic books, uh, Marvel, you know, all kinds of stuff, uh, from way back in the in the forties. Uh, right, I was born in forty four, and when I came home the first time from the Navy, she had thrown them all out, and I had. I had some really valuable. Uh, comic. I didn't know it then, but then later on, I went, "Oh my god!" Yeah, it's anyway, it's tough. It hurts because you um, never you never know. Like uh, when I first had the job, after a while, you acquire an awful lot of toys, and you think, "Oh, maybe at some point they're gonna they're gonna be worth a lot of money." And after twenty years, and I'm looking on eBay, it's like that's not really the case. Yeah, like, no, like, two except for those couple ones that I, yeah. I had mentioned and some very unique ones. Yeah. I have a book that I, I illustrated about uh, George C. Marshall. You always hear about the Marshall Plan in school after World War II. And George C. Marshall was the general that uh, over was the supreme commander during World War II. And um, anyway, I did a coloring book uh, that I illustrated and turned out they only printed 6,000 of them. This was about oh. 17, 18 years ago now. Yeah, and uh, then they did a program with the schools uh, and middle schools for the kids in, in sixth grade, seventh, eighth, and uh, of course all the kids colored in them, and they didn't do another printing, even though they were very popular. And uh, somebody, oh, just about three or four years ago, says, hey, "You need to look online." I went, "Why?" Is this your book is selling for? between 250 and 750 dollars it was i think six dollars was the original price wow i have four of them we blocked them in a in the in the bank <laughs> untouched uh, so you never know oh wait um oh hi ed we were just talking uh, about your painting with the 16 characters uh by the way you need to uh really think about some specific characters you want in it okay because that's next Yay. Um, has there ever been Haunted Mansion toys? Um, yes. Uh, the UK ones are different from the ones in the US, right? Yes. Uh, more and more these days, we're trying to kind of have a synergy between all the, the different zones of the world. So when we pitch to McDonald's now, we actually pitch to their whole global the whole board. Global. Okay. Yeah. Right now, and it's up to them to decide. Like you know, like we'll show a, a large grouping of toys, and like I had mentioned, you know, some might might only take six, some eight, some yeah. ten. So they don't get produced everywhere, uh, but uh, but we do uh, do have that. And to answer your question, uh, they did do a, a haunted mansion movie, Happy Meal. That was uh, uh, quite a while ago. Yeah, yeah, it's making a new haunted mansion movie. Are they? Yes, I hope it's really good. Is it a continuation of what? was or something uh, no because that one was okay it wasn't what ah. i expected but just supposedly this one is going to be quite good um so i forgot who's involved in it but see of course uh, uh some of you may not know if you haven't been on my show before usually and i'm not painting today but usually i'm working on a painting but i was one of the original four artists at walt disney world that worked on all the figures in the attractions put skins on including the ghosts in the haunted mansion mm -hmm. and then we painted those with special acetone based paints which dried very fast so you, you you were working with them there i'm working with them at the at the actual haunted mansion and suzanne uh worked in the haunted mansion as a ghost host ah, so uh, that's what i would like to do yeah if i was to work in I, an attraction i would i would like yeah. to be a ghost host well and of course it, it was uh we the four of us would come in early in the morning, a couple hours before uh, the Magic Kingdom would open up. This was in the 70s and early 80s. And we would split up and check all the attractions. And if there was an emergency repair on a pirate or somebody in Carousel of Progress or in Peter Pan or anything, we could fix it. And if we saw something more serious, we could have we could tell the maintenance, uh, uh, audio animatronic maintenance people to pull one of those figures and bring it to our studio and the next day we fix it redo it totally and then they put it back oh, in okay so it was a constant thing hi tina <laughs> yeah yes scorching uk hot over there act believe it or not it's like in the 70s here in chicago we're loving it i'm sorry all of you are hot but anyway so we would do that and um, and of course when you when i go i love to go in the mansion by myself but it was also kind of freaky because everything's everything is running everything is all the attractive the whole attraction is running while you're in there 
because they turn it on early to make sure everything's working okay. And we need to see that too. Yeah. And uh, of course, it's really funny. You go to work on a figure and it's moving while you're. Oh, it. really? Yeah. Well, that's, like, so, that's not fair. No. There, I, I made it scare, like, Good thing you yes. didn't have to like fix the mascara. Well, if it was one that was really animated, we'd say, okay, you need to. We need to fix that one tomorrow. Yeah. Take it out. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, but um, that, uh, from that one question, it, it seems like oh, over the years we have had. Ah, that's right. Del Toro is making a new movie. Yes. Oh, cool. Benicio Del Toro. That's good. Okay. Is directing it. So uh, over you. the years, there have been many tie-ins with the Disney parks uh, and McDonald's, uh, especially there was, uh, uh, when I first started in 96, they had a 10-year deal where exclusively we would do Disney uh, Happy Meals okay. pr uh, programs. And with that, I mean, yes, we did Barbie and Hot Wheels and all that. Yeah, and just so I'm going to cut in again real quick. This is Jim Martin. We've known each other for years and worked on plays together and everything and, and projects. And Jim also is a designer of toys for Happy Meals for yeah. McDonald's. Yeah. That's why we're talking about this stuff. So, um, but with that, uh, there have been various programs like when uh, I was – when Animal Kingdom first opened up, we did a Happy Meal with that, and basically it was yeah. a lot of a lot of figures with animals and all that. But they also had dinosaurs within that because they had Dino Land. And then the one area they haven't really expounded on was the the fantasy dragons and things. So we did. Uh, I was able to get one toy in that was a dragon. And you press it, its back spines, and the wings would flap, and they were like tinted chance boosy plastic. Say that three nice. times fast. <laughs> Um, I can't even. But say that it was, once. but that was really neat. And then we had glassware that kind of also made it an, an event. Uh, the Country Bear Jamboree, which was the Country Bear movie. Which, eh. which, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I worked on the actual Country Bear Jamboree. I have used that. That yes. it's that it's corny, but it was one of my favorites. I mean, yes. my family would be like, "Do we have to see it again?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah," because I loved it so. Um, and then uh, let's see. We did Oh Pirates of the Caribbean, and that was challenging and fun because we got to – well, we were hoping we could get a likeness of Johnny Depp in there. In fact, there was one guy that was, like, leading the program, and he was he was like, I'm going to draw all the Johnny Depps. So he had a Jack Sparrow character doing all these interesting things. Plus, we had skeleton pirates and uh, telescopes yeah. and stuff like wow. that. And uh, sure enough, we present everything, and they're like, nope. We don't have the rights to show Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow in that. Of course not. <laughs> and so we couldn't do that. But we did a couple of plush. So we had like a green uh, skeleton ghost plush. Kind of looked like an ugly doll. So it was very simplified. Big eyes and all that. And then we had another pirate uh, that kind of looked like Jack Sparrow. But it wasn't sorta. quite the same because it wasn't exact. Yeah. But it was like, it was a big hit. And uh the ladies really liked that plush, and they were trying to get that toy. <laughs> and, uh, well, I liked it from a design standpoint, but... Okay. Well, I see a couple of you have asked about the... Uh, uh, actually, some of the stuff I worked on and how they could steal uh, the apple from the witch or uh, manage to rip her arm off, uh, which, of course, I tell about in our first book, Together in the Dream, and in the second book, Remember the Magic, and Suzanne and I are... Still writing the uh, third book, uh, which, uh, if we're on schedule, will be done writing by the end of August, uh, first week of September, and then we'll go to the publisher. Um, but, um, and Alex, you were the only one in the ride at midnight and when it broke down and you got stuck there for 15 minutes watching the headless body with the axe. Charming. Um, <laughs> I, there are always key scenes well, that you want to be stuck in front of, and other ones you don't. At least you didn't get out of your out of uh, of the doom buggy and try to walk around because there are sections you can fall through the floor and take quite a drop. Um, I got so, stuck in front of the gra the uh, the, gra the uh, graveyard digger and his dog. It's, oh yeah, for, it was not very long for maybe about five minutes, but after a while he just shivers and it's like okay. He breaks down a lot. Does he? Uh, just because of that motion of shivering. Of shaking and uh, whatever happened. Yeah, I always feel bad for the dog. I just want to give it a yeah. sandwich. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and uh, um, and of course we were the four of us artists. Uh, we had a studio behind Small World, and right near the haunted mansion, we could see it out our front window. Both of those 
backs of those attractions. But we would pull practical jokes constantly. And those I talk about in, in the books too, in the chapters that I wrote. And it's, um, people were afraid to come out and visit us. I mean, we're both actors. We do crazy stuff. We do always uh, saying funny things to each other. We're always pulling stuff on stage. Um, I when I do sets, I hide I hide uh, hidden Mickey's all over the set. Spamalot had a ton of them. Yep, I remember. And everybody in the cast, they're on stage. They're trying to find them. <laughs> well, even even behind the scenes where everything isn't painted, there's like cartoons of Mickey and Goofy and Donald Duck and uh, and it's like and it has that R J flair about it. And, and uh, I I what was it? The last show we had done at Wheaton Drama Company. I, I I drew some Muppety things because I'm a big fan of the well, Muppets, so it was just kind of like, cool. okay, I'm stealing from RJ, but I didn't want to do like a blade hidden Mickey because that's his thing. <laughs> so, and now I'm going to be working on uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, a musical at Wheaton Drama, and I'm trying to think of what the thing is that I'm going to incorporate in there. Yeah, hidden hidden uh, yeah, Muppets. Yeah, 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 hidden Kermit foot or something. I don't know. <laughs> so, okay. Wait a minute. What? What? Didn't you like to swim in the pirates, right? Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah, you know you're laughing, Tina. Yeah, I didn't swim in it. I fell in it three times. Uh, it's so unlike you to fall on something. <laughs> right. Yes. They see at, at the theater at, at the different theaters uh, like Bard and the Birds. We do our Shakespeare shows. There, everybody's laughing because I'm the one who can have the silliest accidents, like I cut my finger. And was bleeding all over the place uh, uh, just a few years ago on a piece of peanut brittle. Yes. <laughs> but I broke in half, didn't realize that it cut, actually cut my hand. And I walked in the, into the theater and he says, what's wrong? I said, I'm bleeding. What did you do now? I went, um, cut myself on some peanut brittle. You got to work on your stories there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but we did swim in 20,000 20, leagues under the sea. Um, oh. Gail, I have the Disney Happy Meals from the late 80s, early 90s. Ooh. We should show them some of your, your other stuff here, too. Okay, besides, right. uh, but those, Let's see. I was good. Lucky. Was, I'm trying to figure out when there was this golden age of Happy Meals because uh, yeah. it fluctuates. You know, Because uh, even it's been around, uh, the Happy Meal has been around for uh, well over 35 years. And uh, a little known fact, uh, the very first Happy Meal uh, that was licensed was the first Star Trek movie. Really? Yes. And that's where they had like uh, artwork on the uh, the, uh, the Happy Meal box. Yeah. Uh, and the toys weren't all that fancy, but it was, it was a big deal to have it because uh, a license on it. Because before it would be like a flat one color things of like Ronald McDonald, you could snap out like little yeah, model yeah, kits, which right. we could never do now. Uh, but, uh, but that was like wow. the very first license. I wonder if those are actually uh, worth a bit more. I think it be way back. Yeah. So. What else we got here? Well, as oh, there's Emmett. There's Emmett. Well, <laughs> he's coming. He, back. He'll come back. Yeah, we have but about we were, 17 minutes. Yeah. So, um, as RJ, we, uh, we had talked about, uh, I had uh, worked on puppets for Shrek, and that was like two years ago. And so uh, I'm just going to show you some of the, I just brought some that we had made uh, that were just uh, a lot of fun. And this is the spoon. And. <laughs> This was made out of a, it's, it's like paper mache. We got like a thumb or toe cap. We don't make these anymore, but it was foam. And a uh, little Pee Wee Herman bow tie, because he, he was so gray and silver, I'm like, needs color. That's why he's got the handlebar mustache and a little sun, and a toupee on top. <laughs> and, all, and this is simple, because all you had to do is just hold it by the stick, and he goes, oh, 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 I'm running, oh. And then there was a dish that went along with him. And he's going to go. Um, we had a, a cow jump over the moon. I did not bring the cow. We have no space. But here is the moon. Oh, yes. Hey. Hi there. Hey, how you doing? Hi there. Mm -hmm. ah. moon. Moon's not yellow anymore. That's the time I had my cataract surgery. You got me standing alone. Hey, hey everybody. Oh, God. Ah. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I had to go there. Um, had to go there. <laughs> All right, now, RJ, I'm going to need your help with this one. For those of you who just joined, uh, Sandy, Mary, Susie, hi. Uh, We're this being is, attacked. Ah! Yes, this is Jim Martin, who hi. has designed Happy, Wheel, Happy Meals toys for, for many years. And he also designs puppets uh, for, for plays. 
uh, and um, works on we work on sets together, and we're both actors, and we're both crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah today, yeah, it's, 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 if you're not yeah. sure, yeah. Yeah, you okay, don't have to tell me. Twice. All right, so this one, I don't know if you need to pull this back, back. a little. Ooh. Okay, we have Puss hey, in Boots. You go. Hey, that's even better. So, um, now he just had a walk on, but he had, he literally, he had to walk. So we, we kind of had him hinged, and you hold the pole. So, uh, he had, so he has these legs, Puss in Boots. Ah, okay. And so he had to, like, walk like this. So this actually was a puppet that two people had to manipulate. So one person would hold it and actually do the, the right hand, and I'll show you in a second. And then the other one had to do, in time with the music, kind of a step thing. So, oh, wow. But now we're going to lower yes. him. Okay. Okay. Oop. And at one point, he Bye. would have, uh, let's see, as he was walking. Oh, ow. I'm sorry. He had a hat, which doesn't... <laughs> and he would stop, he'd bow, and then he would like tip his hat. So he's very polite. So I like that. That's good. And uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, and then there's an exploding bird scene. Now we're not going to explode the bird today. Oh, I'm so glad. There's no room, but maybe another time. But it was a lot of fun to make this bird. Yeah. And uh, you can just fly up on. Wow, nice. Just hanging out, right? Yep. Hi. You sound just like Jim. Hello. Oh, nice. <laughs> I need a new voice. I don't always hear voices, but I, I want to play a voice like this. Yeah. It's weird. It's delayed, so I can't see if this is really moving. Yeah, you know what's funny is what we see, actually, uh, the viewers, it's it's normal. Ah. When I save these videos and play them back, you, you don't get any of this fracturing uh, of the picture or delays. Weird. So... Yeah, I won't so, be as confused when I watch it later. You're fractured. <laughs> yeah, I'm fractured. <laughs> so but this okay. one was a lot of fun because we had it in a nest. And there's kind of like a sing-off between Fiona, the princess, and this bluebird. And it's the very beginning of Act 2. Oh, that would have to be good. And uh, so we have him nestled in a uh, in a nest. And... She's singing some high notes, and then he's like, oh, I can one-up that. And so uh, we have an, uh, we had another uh, actress, uh, Rochelle, phenomenal voice. Well, both, both women had great voices, but uh, she would do the, the singing part for the bird. So each one would go a little higher, a little higher, and then finally this little bird sang so high that we had her blow up. And what we did was... Classic Muppets. Yeah, like mm -hmm. say if my arm was the, the nest... Um, She'd like strain and go ah, like that and shake. And then I would like pull this down. And we had uh, within this nest, we had like a little trampoline, which was made out of a swimsuit with a ring that we pulled up. And on the inside of it was a bunch of feathers. So when we pulled on it and let go of it, it was like, <laughs> and all these feathers were flying all over the place. I have that nightmare every night. Yeah. I and it was, I know that a lot of people do different things with that, but we needed to guarantee that it would work every single time. Yeah. And that was the key thing. Because sometimes people would use balloons, and I'm like, well, if we have a hole in the balloon or if it pops too soon, yeah. the gag is ruined. Yeah, that was perfect. That so, was and it worked right every single time. Um, so. Here, Sarah says, what's your fav all-time favorite toy? My all-time favorite toy? Uh, I think you just killed me. <laughs> Come back, Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots died. I don't have it um, here today. Oh. But I uh, maybe the next time I Which one is it? It's uh, actually uh, 16 years ago uh, when I went to the next company that I currently work for. Uh, we did a Lilo and Stitch uh, DVD release, Happy Meal. And uh, the first time they had done the toys, because at that time it was like the movie would come out, and then maybe six months later there'd be a DVD release. So we would actually work on oh, okay. a movie twice. So uh, uh, we did uh, the, these toys for Lilo and Stitch, the movie, uh, DVD release. And what they were is like they had, uh, like Stitch was this alien creature. Then Lilo was this little girl that befriended him and thought she, he was a dog. There are some other aliens and... What we did was we kind of combined that with the license of Play-Doh. And what we did was there were holes in the figure. So when, and a, there was like a little plunger. So it was like a circular base with a, uh, with a, a shaft. And you put some dough in the figure. And then as you push down on 
the uh, the figure, the dough would exude out of it. So with uh, Stitch, uh, because he's an alien, uh, first when he wants to hide from uh, the aliens and all that, he uh, he sucks in. He has he's got uh, uh, four arms, so he sucks two of his arms in. He has antenna. He sucks them in, and then there's some like spines on his back which he sucks in. So he kind of looks like a dog, very ugly dog, but a dog. So what we did is you put the dough in there, and when you press down on it, the dough would come out, but it would like come out as antennas, come out as the spines in the back, and then the extra limbs would grow on it, which oh, I Oh, that's nice. It's a lot of fun. Then we had a second stitch that we had pink dough in there, and when you pressed on it, I'm trying to talk you're fast. Good. No, you're fine. Um, we have 10 minutes. Pink dough would come out of his mouth and it looked like he was sticking his tongue out at you. Now, Lilo, she was like, uh, there's a scene where she does the hula, with, she has a, a hula class. So she had green dough, and then when you pressed on her, the dough would come out on her waist, and she had like a grass skirt, and the dough would become the grass oh, skirt. That's and then uh, we had another one, Pleakley, who uh, often would dress up as a female character. He had one eye. So there were holes in the head, so the dough would make a wig. And then there was another guy. He he was the mad scientist. Jumbo. I shouldn't have stopped eating Happy Meals. <laughs> well, I'll show them to you next time. I'm very, I'm very proud of this one because, one, the reason why uh, is because it was my very first Happy Meal where the project was all the toys were mine that I had come up with. And I think that there might have been a couple where they were group efforts, but the, the initial theme was mine. And that's, that's great. Uh, and I do want to stress that as we work on these projects, it takes a lot of people to make it happen. So I can't say, oh, I'm, I'm the main guy. I'm not. I'm just one of many very fortunate people that are able to do it. But you have the designers, uh, the managers, you have uh, client services, safety people, product development, the model makers, I get to work with them. That's me. So it really That's takes great. an awful lot of people in order to make these happen. And wow. they're very dedicated, very talented. Well, you people. have a Sarah, Sarah uh, uh, said, you, oh, you still have the Play-Doh, Lilo, and Stitch? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I wouldn't give And she up. says, can't wait to see you next time. Oh, see, you already, right. have a fan. Now, I, thank uh, you. Uh, so and I will make sure I, I bring them the next time. Oh, James, uh, Jimmy, you have to go because your phone is about to die. Well, go nurse your uh, missing wisdom teeth. Yeah, um, do get better. Yeah, <laughs> call, call, call us. You know, that's, uh, <laughs> Jim is in the Air Force, in case you're wondering. Uh, anyway, so take care, Jimmy. We'll see you soon. Uh, we've only got about six minutes here. And, uh, um, <laughs> okay, and just so you, you know, if uh, next week, next week, I will be on on Friday again at 3 o'clock. And... Uh, I will be working on a painting uh, with uh, numerous characters in it, so it should be a lot of fun. And talking about uh, our our books, and we are working on the third book. And you're back. I am back, and I'm still hungry. <laughs> Do you of have course. any zebra I, cakes? Uh, <laughs> little, any any little Debbie product would be nice. How how um, um, you you want some paper? I am not an animal. Yeah. That was my favorite pad, too. Um, <laughs> gotta, Jimmy, you got to enjoy the narcotics for your teeth. Uh, <laughs> he had his wisdom teeth pulled, folks, in case you're wondering. Uh, is there any, oh, okay, Alex, any chance uh, you could wish my Disney mad daughter a happy 19th birthday? Oh, is, is she there? Uh, well, anyway, we can do this, sure. Um, you didn't say her name. What's her name? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yes. And look, I even wore my Disney watch, uh, and I've got Mickey on my shirt. So um. <laughs> I can vouch for it. I see it right here. <laughs> Happy 19th today. That's neat. Cool. Wish I was 19 again. Um, oh, also called Alex. Okay. Happy birthday, Alex. Have a great one. I hope you're having a... a Oh, gosh, let's see. It's uh, six hours later there. We're in Chicago. So it's, uh, oh, gosh, 10 o'clock. Nice. You've had a great birthday. Uh, Happy oh, birthday, Alex. There you go. <laughs> How many of those do you get? Um, Not too many. <laughs> oh, there's Pam. Pam Turlow, fellow Pam! actor. Pam! Hi, guys. Two of my most favorite artists. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. You did, he did the, uh, remember I had Pam Turlow on because she wrote, uh, oh gosh, no, the name of her book. Um, 
He did the cover design. The Mystical Mouse. The Mystical Mouse. And, and we that was a lot of fun. And Pam's going to be on the show again. We have we have to work that out. So. She is? Call me. Um, Call him. <laughs> we cannot wait. Talk to my fingers. <laughs> You're you are so weird. I know. I go through life like this all the time. We wouldn't have it any um, other way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. we're, we're winding down. This, uh, we froze on the screen. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. We're looking. I don't know if it froze. At least we're smiling. It says the video's still on, but it froze. Well, now it's blank. Ah! Oh, we're back. We're back. Was that fun, everybody? You were in the dark, weren't you? You didn't have. A I am always in the dark. Yes. This this. Uh... Hello to him. <laughs> <laughs> I should have brought my uh, Kermit. Uh, Maybe you ramen now. noodles, maybe. Ramen noodles. I am hungry. Raw. I have raw ones. Okay, that works for me. You'll eat anything. Jeez. I'll be in um, the kitchen. Oh, Alex. <laughs> Thanks, guys. She's laughing. Well, Alex. <laughs> good. I'm. I'm. I'm glad we made. And Pam's you'll waiting. never hey. forget this birthday. Now, will you? You just got wished happy birthday from a a, a Disney artist and a. Ronald McDonald toy artist and an orange whatever an orange the heck he is. whatever figure yes um, Emmett. Emmett. <laughs> okay <laughs> so so on that note yeah let me let me think if I uh, make sure I, I didn't forget anything I wrote I wrote down some notes and uh, and I don't have anything uh, so <laughs> if you <laughs> If you have any interest in a painting, please message me and I will give you information. I do only commission work and I'm booked into uh, uh, September, early September right now. Uh, actually, it might be later than that, but who's counting? I mean, yeah, okay. Uh, and <laughs> so, um, yeah, enough of that. We'll have uh, Jim back. And you can oh, I hope so. I had a blast. Crazy items. This is so much fun. I, I always have fun with Jim. He has an adorable daughter who's, she's how old now? 14. 14. Allie. Oh, yeah. Allie. Yeah, we've, gosh, I, heard, I first met her when she was seven, I think, or eight. Um, eight. eight. Yeah. Eight. So, wow. They all grow up. I know. I mean, Fletch, yeah, he's, yeah, a, Fletch. He's, he's a tiny little that's thing. That's our youngest grandson. Yeah, he's 10. Well, he's going into sixth I grade. Know. He's going into sixth grade. Yes. <laughs> and he's, he's Time goes by fast. <laughs> Two oldest grandsons, Alex and, and Chris, are taller than me, and I'm six foot. Actually, I think I lost an inch. You know, you get older. And... I hear that happen. You shrink. <laughs> um, Somewhere in the I torso. Shrink. Yeah, I think it actually just shaved part of my brain off. <laughs> That's we'll, why we'll, we'll look for it later. Okay? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody, <laughs> oh, thank you, Ed. Have a great weekend too. Everybody, have a great weekend. Uh, if you're going to Disney, have a blast. I hate you. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for welcoming me today. <laughs> yes. I, I, it was a pleasure being here and meeting everybody. And and we will have Jim back on in in a few months, if not sooner. Okay. Take right. care, everybody. We will see you soon.